Kevin Kraft here from the Columbia Tour Van. We are currently on lockdown due to coronavirus, so we're going to provide some video content for you. Um, today we're going to take a quick look uh, inside my golf bag. Um, I fit myself very much the same way I fit anybody else, um, though it's on a little bit more extreme level because I try basically everything that comes into the shop. So all the heads, all the shafts, I put everything together, try it, see it, see what it sounds like, feels like, so I can talk about it, right? Um, so everything that I fit myself for kind of happens over just a, a course of time, um, except maybe with wedges. So I got my start in club fitting with scratch golf clubs, boutique manufacturer, focusing primarily on wedges. So it was all about grinds and bounces and camber and relief and all that stuff. So I really got into the fitting side on wedges. Uh, subsequently, I am an absolute wedge hound and I end up wanting every wedge that's out there. Uh, this year I'm in tailor-made wedges. I tend to switch companies every single year. Uh, last year was Vokies, year before that was Ping, so this year tailor-made's got it. Um, what caused me to choose tailor-made? Well, Actually, the, the look of these new mill grind twos uh, was the first thing that drew me to it. Uh, the, the chrome, I normally like the darker wedges, but the chrome on this with the non-plated and then therefore rusting face, that contrast kind of got that old school look. I'm kind of an old dog at this point, so uh, these old school things are really starting to look good to me. Um, I just love the way they look. I think the shape's really good. Um, this is actually the second shaft that I've had in here. Um, I did make one bit of a mistake when I, uh, when I put my set together before. I've always liked heavier uh, wedge shafts and I went with Dynamic Gold S400s, uh, 132 grams. And I actually made a switch in my irons to Aerotech steel fiber this year. Uh, I got a little, little bit of, of arthritis going in the left hand here, so uh, I'm going to jump into that vibration dampening of the graphite. Uh, but the shaft was working really, really well on the irons, and subsequently, just the way it, the way that shaft feels and loads and unloads, made those S400s just feel just like an absolute board. Like I couldn't feel anything at all in those heads. So pulled those out and put the Aerotex in there. So uh, so I'm all the way through the set with the Aerotech Steel Fiber 110X. Um, when we're talking about wedges, we want to talk about gapping, obviously, and we want to talk about bounce and grind. So for me, I'm a sweeper with the irons. I don't take much divot at all, but I get very aggressive when I get into the wedges, so I like a lot of bounce in my wedges. So uh, with the, with the tailor-mades, uh, I'm just in the standard bounce on the on the 48 degree. I needed to go 48. The irons I have, which are the Cobra Forge Tech, which we'll talk about later, uh, are pretty long, so they're really fast faces. So instead of playing a 50 degree, I'm in a 48. Um, that gets me that that gapping that I need to cover all that yardage. Uh, this one's got nine degrees of bounce, which isn't too bad for a for a gap wedge. Um, then I've got a 54 degree, which I've actually bent down to 52. Again, that's all been about gapping and making sure that we have this, this kind of a coverage, right? We don't wanna be out there like this where we've got this space in here that we don't have covered. And we also don't wanna be like this where we've got you know, too much of one doing the same thing as another. Uh, so I got this one at 52 degrees. Um, this one's got a little more relief in the heel. It's got 11 degrees of bounce, it had 11 degrees of bounce. Now it's actually down to uh, about nine degrees. Um, this is still for me 52, 54 degree, still primarily a half and full swing club. I don't use it around the greens as much, so I really don't need a whole lot of relief to it. Um, and then in the 60, well, actually it's 58 degree that I've now bent up to 59 and a half. Again, that was partly for gapping, and the other part of that was when I got this at 58 degrees, it looked like it, looked like it didn't have enough enough loft and I was having a really hard time hitting flop shots with it. So bent a little bit more uh, loft in there. Now it just sits really good, looks great. I can open it, really cut up under it when I need to. Um, there's not a huge amount of relief under here, uh, but we have a little bit of camber. 
and I've got this now up at uh, 12 and a half degrees of bounce. So uh, it works really well with the way I interact with the turf and, and the kinds of shots I hit around the greens. Um, and those are really the things that we want to cover with, uh, with wedges. Um, look, feel, sound are absolute importance all the way through every single step of the fitting process. I want to make sure that people that come see me have something that they're absolutely in love with. Looking down at it, the way it feels when they hit it, uh, the way it sounds when they hit it, and then of course the, the performance of that. So uh, I do the same thing for me. You know, I'm hypersensitive to the aesthetics of a golf club. If it doesn't look right, I'm probably just not going to use it. Um, feel and sound obviously really important. Those two things are very much linked too. Uh, I can get over sound on some things, but uh, the feel is obviously going to be very important. And then you know, the workability and making sure that it does exactly what we want it to do. So the mill, mill grind twos uh, for me, you know, they tick all the boxes for, for this year. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get out and actually get a chance to use them a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's where we are with the wedges for 2020. Taylor made mill grind two, uh, steel fiber 110X. And uh, they're also about a half inch short. Everything in my bag is a little bit short. Uh, I feel more in control that way. And uh, it also helps flatten things out a little bit. I come in from the inside, so I need that flat lie angle. So there's wedges and we'll move on.